What's going on guys? Today I want to talk to you about something that you might be familiar with, you might see it on your camera screen, but you might not exactly know what it is. I'm talking about white balance. Let's get into it. Have you ever taken a photo and noticed that it was a little too blue or a little too orange or just not true to life? Well, that's where white balance comes into play. In simple terms, white balance just refers to the adjustment of colors in your photos so that white is represented as white, regardless of the conditions that you're shooting in. So why is white balance so crucial? Well, let's get into the science behind it. Our eyes are fantastic. We can go from lighting scenario to lighting scenario effortlessly. Our eyes just adjust, but our cameras, no matter how fancy or expensive, they can use just a little help. Different light sources, whether it's the sun or a fluorescent bulb or an incandescent light, they emit light at different wavelengths, resulting in different color casts. The color temperature scale is measured in Kelvin. Lower values represent your warmer tones like candlelight, and those higher values represent a blue overcast sky. Blue tones dominate open shade or those twilight hours, while warm yellowish tones prevail during those evening hours, sunset, giving it that golden glow, golden hour. Then there's the balance between green and magenta. Green tones might prevail in fluorescent lighting, while those magenta tones might come out in certain artificial lights like LEDs or neon signs. Your camera's white balance aims to neutralize these color casts, trying to find that balance between these greens and magentas and your blues and your yellows. Balance, white balance, white balance. Now, most cameras do have some presets. You'll see something like sunny, fluorescent, shade. And all that's doing is taking the known light cast that these may present, and it is drowning them out with the opposite end. So for example, there's a lot of light going on in this frame right now. I have two light bars behind me projecting light onto my background, and I also have some lights here evening me out. I have all my lights set to 5,500 Kelvin. So that should give me a nice neutral white light on me while everything else is being altered. But let's shift through those presets for a minute. Where I have everything dialed in the way that I want them, let's see what the camera would, would do in these cases. This is auto probably not too bad. I don't have a lot of reference here, but you can see on the camera. This is daylight, so it might be pushing more cool tones into the image. Shade, pushing more of those warm tones. Cloudy. Tungsten, probably shifted a lot of blues into the image to compensate for those overly warm tones that tungsten can introduce. Most cameras will give you the option to manually set your white balance, and that's where having a white card can come in handy. Normally on a camera, it'll tell you to present your camera with something that you know to be white, so you are telling the camera what color is white, and they do sell these cards, but in a pinch, a white piece of paper Something white, something you know to be white. Get close. And if you need to, you can always do a little bit of tweaking in, in post, but it's always good to get it right in camera. But mastering white balance isn't just about getting accurate colors. It can also be a creative tool that you can use. By intentionally tweaking the white balance and allowing certain colors come through, you can give certain emotions or feelings to your images. For instance, you can warm up a scene just by dropping your white balance to the warmer tones and give that more cozy, maybe nostalgic feel. All right guys, that's White Balance Explained. If it was helpful, go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe, do all those things. If you didn't find it was helpful, well, leave a comment, tell me what would be helpful. It's been fun, see ya.